Okay, I've uh, worked a little bit more on these candles. Uh, they were still not opaque enough, so I rebase coated them again and worked on the highlights some more and widened those highlights just a bit. So now I'm going to um, go to this front candle and we're going to rebase coat it with the naphthol red, which is the medium our medium value let's get that on I did have extender on here but I think I've messed with my camera long enough that it's dried do a little quick, quick repair here. Okay. Sometimes it's a little hard to get things right with the piece laying down. I notoriously pick up my piece when I'm painting and paint on it. So I'm learning a whole new thing by painting on a stationary object underneath the camera. Okay. get that on there pretty well I have to make sure I have enough paint because I'm not wanting it to dry before I get my base coat or my uh, highlight onto there Alright, I think I'm going to dry this coat and then I'll come back with some extender on there. Looks pretty opaque now. Alright, here's our extender. Okay, last time with our base coat. Okay, get our shape following strokes in there. So now I'm going to pick up some naphthol red light, which is our highlight color for that front candle. And I'm going to work it into the brush. And I'm going to start here with the light towards the center. I'm just using the sides. I flipped it over, making a wide highlight area. Now I'm using more of the of the brush. I want my light part to get into the center. And I want it to be quite wide. Ok, 
Okay, now I'm going to drive that and repeat it. Alright, a little extender. Now this time I'm not going to go into the dark. I'm only going to go to the naphthol red light, my highlight color. Work it in. Gonna start here. Now you want to be careful that you get your highlights lined up. Because the light should be showing in the same place on these two candles. Okay, so we've got a highlight in there now. Okay, I'm going to dry this and then we're going to come back with our shading. When you do the tops of your candles, do them the same way. Alright. I'm going to put the dark on the edges to preserve our cylinder shape. Still using my number eight shader. Gonna come back in for a tiny bit of extender. Just barely want any extender on. It's 4th of July and I think you can probably hear some people's firecrackers in the background. Okay. Now I'm going to side load into the low dark. get out on my palette. Then I'm going to come here and start putting in our, the darks. And I'm going to go around right here because we need to put this candle behind the other. And, and I'm walking out my float just a little bit so that we can include this part right here. Okay. I'm going to reload. Every time you reload, you want to go back and work it into your brush on your palette. And come over here and get this side edge. Okay. Now you can see your cylinder shape forming, can't you? Let's, let's let that dry a little bit and come over here to this edge. Come straight down on this edge. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my piece. Oh, I got something on it. That's wonderful. I'm going to do this edge after I reload. Okay. Brush that out just a little bit. It seemed like a little harsh line. Okay. And I think I can reinforce this one right here just a little. There we go. 